Hi, and welcome to the final part of this event. The final side story of this story. We just did the story event and now we're gonna do the side story. I have no idea who's gonna be here. Although I can only see. This is so cute although. I think about the furnace like I try to put the new furnace that I got from this event but it, it doesn't work. I don't know why. But let's continue on with the story. According to the arrival schedule, there should be one last ship arriving in Rito today. But the Iridori Festival is coming to an end. Who would be showing up now? Oh, it's almost time. Let's go to the harbor and take a look. Traveler, Paimon, nice to see you again. Wow! It's Kokumi and Goro! So the Divine Priestess and the General of Watatsumi Island have come to take part in the Iridori Festival! Yes, but we are not here representing Watatsumi Island's administration. We were invited as individuals. Oh, let me guess. You want the autograph from Chan Jun? And Goro is gonna be Miss Hina signing autograph, doesn't he? Things are quiet in Watatsumi Island at the moment, and I wanted to buy some books. So I decided to make the trip here. Goro was not greatly interested in the Irodori Festival, but he said if I was going to Rito, he would join me. Her Excellency is traveling outside of Watatsumi Island and also meeting her pen pal today. As her general, it is my duty to ensure her safety at every turn. She has a pen pen? Why do I have a feeling is someone comedic? Pen pal? Yes, we started corresponding just recently. My pen pal and I share very similar tastes in light novels, and we always have a lot of interesting thoughts to share. Of course, there are also times when we fiercely disagree. Okay, I'm kind of curious. How do you exactly have a pen pal? Pen pal? Because technically, you don't know how they look or their name, and you communicate by letter. It's like, how exactly do you actually meet up in the first time? Since we were both coming to the Irodori Festival this time, we decided to take the opportunity to hold a book review session and discuss our views on various novels in more depth. Sounds pretty professional! Hey, since you both like novels, why don't you try writing one together? Who knows, maybe you'll shake things up on the Inazuman literary scene! <laughs> That's a very interesting idea. It's almost time. Goro and I must go to meet my pen pal at the agreed upon location. Kokumi, Paimon's super curious about this pen pal of yours. Can Paimon come with you? Don't worry, Paimon will just watch from a distance and won't interrupt anything. Hmm, let me think. Yes, I think it should be fine for you two to come with me. All right, let's go together. This is the meeting spot. Huh, there's no one else around. It looks like we're early. My, my. Who have we here? Uh-oh. She's here. Oh my god, what <laughs> plan she has? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Hyman hadn't counted on running into Miko. She and Kokomi are on different sides, and they also believe in different gods! Did you saw how good just went out the scene when she saw Miko? <laughs> it's, uh, it's actually got... Nope, I'm not dealing with this. And, oh my god. 
Let me guess. Yeah, Mika is the pamper. Oh, are they gonna end up having a fight? Lady Guji of the Grand Narukami Shrine. No wonder. I was just wondering where that air of superiority was coming from. Ooh, cat fight. <laughs> if it isn't the leader of Watatsumi Island, who looks as soft as a jellyfish, but whose words sting like one too. Man, sometimes you must treat it when you know you're not gonna win. We can deal with wiki boss, but this so I'm not one to deal with. Hello, nice to meet you, fried tofu with all the frills. Oh, the pleasure is all mine, soul of the deep. <laughs> What? Hey, what's going on here? Miko is Kokomi's pen pal? Ah, uh, to all the peoples. No, it can't be. Look at them. Clearly they already knew each other. Does that mean... A cover. You know, I don't know what to expect, but I feel I'm gonna have a tons of fun with this. More that with Ito, that was just sanity draining. Hmm? Whatever are you talking about? I don't understand. I'm simply here for the book review session with Miss Soul of the Deep. Let's go. The venue for this meeting is in the Konjo Commission headquarters up there. The view is excellent, making it a perfect place to drink tea and discuss creative ideas. A book review in the Kanjo Commission! You seriously expect anyone to believe that? You're not here to talk about shaking up the Inazuma literary scene! You're here to talk about shaking up things in Inazuma as a whole! <laughs> Watatsumi Island will soon hold formal talks with the Shogunate on Inazuma's future development. It's essential to have an informal meeting like this one before the formal talks begin. Didn't that already right. happen? Especially with someone outside of the Shogunate like myself, who is in a good position to test out where each party draws the lines. But this is just our first meeting. It's a little too early to announce it to the general public. Huh. Okay then. I'm kind of surprised no one actually pointed out that God just print out the scene the moment she <laughs> saw Yaimiko. By the way, where is your general? Didn't you say he would be joining you? <laughs> huh, that's right. Where did Goro go? What do you expect? He sprint out the scene. Goro went to buy some books for me. He won't be attending the book review. Even she's not knows oh, why. What a pity. I was rather looking forward to seeing his fluffy ears again. Traveler, uh, I'd like to talk to you for a moment. You want me to fetch go from where she ran off. And to be honest, I'm not be actually sad if I actually got go in the next banner when it's gonna be. Because now I want to pet him up with Yaimiko. Hmm. I have been getting the sense that Goro does not like having to deal with Gujiai. So I was initially reluctant to bring him to Rita with me this time. I noticed he instinctively hid as soon as he saw her just now. However, Goro has a strong sense of responsibility and will feel ashamed when he next sees me. So. I would like to give him the task of buying some books for me to make things easier for him. But Goro rarely buys anything. So, as a favor from me, I'd like to ask you to accompany him. Kokomi, you focus on the meeting with Miko. Leave the books to us and Goro. Thank you. 
I made a list of the books I'd like to buy. Please, pass it on to Goro. Well, this was an, and I bet Lisa's gonna love this club meeting of books. Oh my god, look at him. You know what? How can I pass down this occasion? Well, since you asked so nicely. <laughs> Hello, Kudu. Goro? Are you alright? Huh? Oh, it's you. Oh, I... I wasn't expecting you-know-who to show up. Oh, it, it completely caught me by surprise. I had no idea what to say to her. Next thing I knew, I'd apparently already taken cover. The fact that she calls her, you know who, like, this is like, hey, what a... Again, this is actually what I actually like about this character. Not like with, they do over the board with Ito. Like, just little interaction with different peoples. I came here to ensure the safety of Her Excellency, but now I'm useless. I've become a burden instead. Goro, don't be so hard on yourself. Actually, Kokomi asked us to give you a very important task. Oh, Her Excellency's purchase list. Got it. This is how Her Excellency wants me to make up for my mistakes. No problem. Just leave it to me. Goro, let us come with you. We can chill you around the Iridori Festival while we're at it. Oh, thank you so much. There is a children's storybook on this list called Night at Mount Yogo. I think this is the stand where it's being sold. Children's storybook? Yes, it's for the children of Watatsumi Island. Her Excellency says that this book is simply written and very useful for learning new words. Hello, I'll take uh, five copies of Night at Mount Yogo, please. Thank you for your patronage. Wow, <laughs> you're a lucky customer. There's a coupon in one of the books you just bought, which entitles you to a free gift. Really? Wow! Goro got a free gift! That's amazing! Thank you, dog. Here you go. A toy box. It's all yours. Why she look what? angry? Uh, <clears throat> a toy fox? There you go. Do Yamik actually tease you so much that you're actually afraid of anything that is fox related? You know what? I'm gonna enjoy this torturing him. Are you okay? The hair on your tail is standing on end. Ah, fine. Thanks for the gift. Could you maybe uh, l l look after the toy for me? Yes, uh, as a thank you gift for coming with me to buy the books. Uh, seems like Goro still hasn't recovered from seeing Miko. Okay, uh, next up... Uh, this isn't the focus of this trip, but let's go buy a light novel. It says on the list that Her Excellency had an editor called Onodera purchase the latest issue of A Legend of Sword for her in advance. Well, we'd better not keep him waiting too long. Oh, we know him! We'll lead the way! Please apply here. Uh, excuse me, are you Mr. Onodera? 
I'm here to pick up the new issue of A Legend of Sword for Soul of the Deep. Hello there. Yes, I have the book right here. I heard Soul of the Deep is the VIP of the Iridori Festival, but I couldn't make it here in time for the signing event due to the shipping schedule. Oh, uh, also, if you have these books available, uh, please give me one of each. Thank you. All right, let me see. Oh my goodness, it's your lucky day today, sir. You are the hundredth reader to buy the saga Hamavarin. That entitles you to receive a special edition version with a review personally written by Lady Yai herself. <laughs> are you kidding me? All these related to Fox and Yai Nika. Oh my god. Go is right now in a nightmare. She can never escape her. And we just watching this happen. <laughs> my god. Oof, I really curious what's gonna be. Oh, are you serious? Yeah, the curse of being a lucky guy at a convention. You don't get kind of surprised that you may not want it. But, man, boy, I can wait to eat a fan out of this. Are you okay? You don't look very well. I, I'm fine. Thank you for the books. Her ex, <clears throat> uh, Soul of the Deep, asked me to buy this book after all. I'm sure she'll be very happy to receive a special version with the chief editor's review. <laughs> uh... Hulu does not look like he's enjoying this at all. Paimon doesn't know if he's lucky or unlucky. Oh, one other thing. Because of the amount of your purchase, you're able to enter the Yai Publishing House's lucky draw. Please come with me, right this way. Okay, Anandar, you've been reading me in the eyes of Yaniko. <laughs> Sir, please take your lucky draw whenever you are ready. Just turn the handle and a prize ball will come out. Maybe today is your lucky day. Come on, Goro, go for it. Let me see. <gasps> oh, wow, incredible. You got the golden ball. That's the grand prize. And that is a date with Yainiko. And he's not optional. <laughs> Imagine that nightmare. Guru, you're a lucky dog today. So what is the grand prize anyway? The grand prize is a full collection of each light novel published by Yai Publishing House. Not only is the prize awarded personally by Lady Yai, but you will also have the chance to shake hands and take a photo with her to commemorate the occasion. Okay, it's not a date, but you have to be close to her. My god. Goro, I'm so sorry for you, but at least they don't exaggerate this. What? Not only do I have to meet her, but I have to shake her hand and take a photo with her too? What? This guy won the Yai Publishing House's grand prize? Wow, that's so lucky! An entire set of all their light novels. That's worth a lot of money. Ah, uh, uh, excuse me, ma'am. Could we discuss this? I don't actually want the light novels. Um, don't you think that maybe Kokomi is gonna like this? Huh? You mean you want to give up the prize? Goro, don't give up your prize. If you don't want to see Miko, that's fine. We'll figure something out. No, uh, that's not what I meant. I'm not giving up the prize, and uh, I can cope with the ceremony and the, <clears throat> the picture-taking. But 
I have a request. I would like to ask Yai Publishing House to change the prize from light novels to books on agricultural science of equivalent value. What? Do you actually have... I don't think he actually have a say. Hey, you got the prize, you take it. You don't be picky now. But agriculture, science of chicken, right? This is kind of odd. I mean, maybe for the Watsatsumi Island, but... Agricultural science? Yes. The land in Watatsumi Island is quite barren and always yields a poor grain harvest. We've been looking for new ways to improve the residents' lives. One of her ex, uh, Soul of the Deep's core objectives for the Iridori Festival was to purchase some works on crop cultivation and aquaculture. If I can get these books as my prize instead, we can save a lot of money, and Soul of the Deep can buy some other useful resources too. I see. I understand your request, but I don't have the authority to grant it. Lady Yai will have to have the final say. Ooh, it seems you have to, you actually have to deal with Yai Miko. Go. You finally have to deal with it. Confront your fears. Big be a big dog for once. I will contact Lady Yai now. Please wait for our reply at the Five Kasin Plaza. Depending on the situation, Lady Guy might need to negotiate this matter with you further in person. Okay, understood. Goro, that was pretty brave of you. You clearly don't like having to deal with Miko, but you still agreed to the ceremony and even made your own demands. You think so? I guess I got a burst of courage when I thought about Her Excellency's orders and the people of Watatsumi Island. I am the general of Watatsumi Island's armed forces. How can I let something like this defeat me? So the only way you can actually have some kind of courage against Yaimika is when you imagine her like some kind of monster that's like to invade Watatsumi Island. I mean, imagine that. I'm ready now. I feel like I'm back on the battlefield. Even if Yaimiko does come to negotiate with me, I won't let myself be pressured by her. You still look pretty nervous, though, Goro. Uh, well, probably because I just realized she might make a cunning counter request just to toy with me. Sorry for keeping you all waiting. How did it go? What did Guji Yai say? Lady Yai has agreed to your request to swap the light novels for books on agricultural science. Additionally, Lady Yai says that she will include a few extra works, considering your intended use for those books. You may accompany me to Yai Publishing House's warehouse to select your preferred books. I believe your return ship leaves tomorrow night. We will package the selected books and take them directly onto the ship for you. You'll package the books? Then what about the ceremony? Lady Yai said selecting the books may take up a lot of your time and energy. To ensure you have fond memories of the Iridori Festival, she decided to cancel the ceremony. Although, she did leave you a letter. You can read it on your own time. That's gonna be the bad with the condition. Yaimiko is not gonna leave that slide. I didn't think Yaimiko would cancel the ceremony. Huh. I was so convinced that she would try and make a fool out of me. Now it seems like I was overly suspicious of her. Anyway, I'll go with the editor to pick the books now. I won't trouble you guys anymore. Great! See you tomorrow night! Kokomi and Cora will be boarding their boat home soon! Let's go down to the harbor and see them off! Traveler, Paimon, thank you for coming to see us off. Very worthwhile. The book review session was a big success. 
and I feel very positive about the forthcoming talks. Goro also made a great contribution. He procured a whole batch of useful books for Watatsumi Island. Uh, I may have won the prize, but ultimately, it was Yaimiko who gave us all these books for free. If I have the chance in the future, I must thank her properly. Speaking of, didn't Yaimiko send you a letter yesterday? What did it say? Oh, I, I almost forgot. I'll read it now. Dear Goro, I suppose you must have been extremely nervous when you heard about the prospect of the award ceremony and the photo. Whoa, the fact that he actually saved my Yamiko. Oh, I can't wait for the punchline. It came as a surprise indeed to learn that not only did you accept those conditions, you also made your own demands. Your courage has won my respect. Those books are a token of my goodwill to Watatsumi Island, and also my gift to you. I do hope you like them. Ah, yes, I'm sure that by this point you must be feeling ever so grateful for my kindness and are looking for a way to repay me, yes? Well, here's your chance. I knew it. Yai Publishing House will host an event next month, and we are looking for someone to dress up as a character from a light novel and interact with the fans. Goro, you are not only patient, but also very beautiful. Why don't you come and help us? I'll prepare a tailor-made outfit just for you. Oh my god. Yaimiko, if you actually manage to actually convince him to do this, and this actually happens next month, this is going to be the game of the year. Oh, and by the way, it'll be a woman's outfit. <laughs> Look at him. I knew it. I knew she was up to something. There's no turning back, though. You have to wear the dress. Well, that was the last thing for this update. I don't think there's anything else. I kind of have fun with this event, and that's kind of something to note about this limit event. They have better story because they are more condensed, like we don't have to wait months for uh, something to actually proceed. Like, the Inazuma Arkham quest was kind of hit or miss. But these event quests are something more enjoyable. Like, we have the mystery of the five cousins. Although, I'm kind of curious, how in the world did I bear the menace to do, a, do out the Baladir? And we have the side story that I'm actually surprised I actually managed to actually do this. Like, these are side stories. Like, the hair events of the character quest. And yeah, this last one was very enjoyable. And you know what? I now kind of want to get Goro just to team her, team him up with uh, Yaimiko. Personally, I think the idea of things staying the same forever is quite... <laughs> Can you shut up a little? So I'm not gonna dwell too much in this. So, yeah, this was for this update. Maybe. And see you in the next video. Aloha.